And Abram went out of Egypt, he and his wife and all that he had and lot with him into the south. And Abram was very rich in cattle and silver and in gold. And he went on his journeys from the south, even to Bethel, unto the place where his tent had been at the beginning between Bethel and Hay. Unto the place of the altar, which he had made there at first, and there Abram called on the name of the Lord, and Lot also, which went with Abram, had flocks and herds and tents. And that land was not able to bear them, that they might dwell together, for their substance was great, so that they could not dwell together. And there was a strife between the herdmen of Abram's cattle and the herdmen of Lot's cattle, and the Canaanite and the Prizorite dwelt there in the land and abram said unto lot let there be no strife i pray thee between me and thee and between my herd men and thy herd men for we be brethren is not the whole land before thee separate thyself i pray thee from me if thy wilt take the left hand then I will go right, or if thou will depart to the right hand, then I will go left. And Lot lifted up his eyes and beheld all the plain of Jordan, that it was well watered everywhere before the land, before the Lord destroyed Sodom and Gerimar, even as the garden of the Lord, like the land of Egypt, as thou comest into Zor. And Lot chose him in all the plain of Jordan, and Lot journeyed east, and they separated themselves one from another. Abram dwelled in the land of Canaan, and Lot dwelled in the cities of the plains and pitched his tent toward Sodom. But the men of Sodom were wicked and sinners before the Lord exceedingly. And the Lord said unto Abram, After that Lot was separated from him, Lift up now thy eyes, and look from the place where thou art northward and southward and eastward and westward. For all the land which thou seest, to thee will I give, and to thy seed forever. And I will make thy seed as the dust of the earth, so that a man can number the dust of the earth. And then shall thy seed also be numbered. Arise, walk through the land, and the length of it, and in the brethren of it, and I will give it unto thee. Then Abram removed his tent, and came and dwelt in the land of Mary, Mamre, which is in heaven. And built there an altar unto the Lord. So we're going to go over to Genesis 14. Genesis 14. And it came to pass in the days of Amber, well, king of Shira, Ariok, king of the Elisar, the Kaladamar, king of Elam, the title kings of the nation, that these made war with Bear, king of Sodom, and with the bearish king of Gomer. Shingam Nob, king of Atma, and Shelmer, king of Zimbla, and the king of Bela, which is Zor. And these were joined together in the vale of Siddam, which is the Salt Sea. Twelve years they served Shebelar, and the thirteenth year they rebelled. And in the fourteenth year came Chalamar and the kings that were with him and smote the Remites and the Azarites and the Canaanites and the Zemnians and the Ham and the Emrams and the Shevron and the Catherine and the Horites and their Mount Sheer unto Emmer, which is in the wilderness. And they returned and came to the Emmer, which is the Kadesh, and smote all the countries of the Amalekites and the Amorites and dwell in Zamatar. And there went out the king of Sodom, and the king of Zomer, and the king of Adam, and the king of Zemba, and the king of Bela, the same is Zor. And they joined battle with them in the vale of Smenin, which the Zelmador, the king of El, and the king of Tidum, kings of nations, and Aparel, king of the Shear, and the Irite, and the kings of the... Elisor, four kings of five in the vale of Sodom, was full of the smine pits. And the kings of Sodom and Gomorrah fled and fell there. And they that remained fled to the mountain. And they took of all the goods of the Sodom and Gomorrah and there of the victors and went their way. And they took Lot, Abram's brother's son, and dwelt in Sodom and his goods and departed. And there came one that had escaped and told Abram the Hebrew before he dwelt in the pain of Mamram, of the Amorite brother of Ishel and brother of Anir. And these were confederate with Abram. 
And when Abram heard that his brother was taken captive, he armored his trained servants, born in his own house, 318, and pursued them unto Dan. And he divided himself against them, he and his servants, by night, and smote them, and preserved them into Hobai, which is on the left hand of Damascus. And he brought back all the goods, and also brought again his brother Lot, and his good, and the women also, and the people. And the king of Sodom went out to meet him after his return from the slaughter of Shalimar and the kings that were with him at the valley of Shiva, which is the king's dale. And the Melishak king of Solom brought forth bread and wine, and he was the priest of the Most High. And he blessed him, and he said, Blessed be Abram of the Most High, God, professor of heaven and earth, and blessed be the Most High God, which hath delivered thine enemies into thy hand. He gave them tithes of all. And the king of Sodom said unto Abram, Give me the persons and take the goods to thyself. And Abram said to the king of Sodom, I have lifted up my hand unto the Lord, the most high God, the professor of heaven and earth, that I will not take from a thread unto the shoelace it, and that I will not take anything that is thine, lest I should have say, I have made Abram rich. Save only which the young men have eaten in the portion of the men which went with me, Anor, Eshkol, Mamre, let them take their portion. Chapter 15. After these things, the word of the Lord came unto Abram in a vision, saying, Fear not, Abram, I am thy shield and thy exceeding great reward. And Abram said, Lord God, what will I give thee, seeing I go childless, and the steward of my house is in the etzer of Damascus? And Abram said, Behold, to me thou hast given no seed, and lo, one born in my house is mine hair. And behold, the word of the Lord came unto him, saying, This shall not be thy hair, but he that shall come forth out of thy own bowels shall be thy hair. And he brought him forth aboard and said, Look now toward heaven and tell the stars, if thou be able to number them. And he said unto him, So shall they seed be. And he believed in the Lord, and he counted it to himself for righteous and he said unto him i am the lord that brought thee out of ur of the chaldees to give thee the land to inherit and he said lord god whereby shall i know that i shall inherit it and he said unto him take me a heifer or three years old and a she goat of three years old and a ram of three years old and a turtle dove and a young pigeon and he took unto thee all these and divided them in the midst and laid each one against another but the birds divided he not and when the fowls came down upon the caresses abraham drove them away and when the sun was going down a deep sleep fell upon abram now of all surety that thy seed shall be a stranger in the land that was not theirs and shall serve them and they shall afflict them 400 years. And also that nation whom they shall serve will I judge and afterwards shall they come out with great substance and thou shalt go into thy fathers in peace. Thou shalt be buried in a good old age, <clears throat> but in the 14th generation thou shalt come hither again for the ecclesiastes. For the inequity of the Amorites is not yet full. And it came to pass that when the sun went down, it was dark. Behold, a smoking furnace and a burning left that passed between those pieces. And the same day, the Lord made a covenant with Abram, saying unto thy seed, I have given this land from the river of Egypt unto the great river of the river of the Amorites, the Canaanites, the Kizanzites, and the Camarmonites and the Hittites, and the Persites, and the Ramses, and the Amorites, and the Canaanites, and the Gergites, and the Zuberites. That is it, guys, for chapter 15. So, I thank you so much 
for traveling along with me on this journey or whatever. We are going to be heading over to chapter 16 or whatever. And I just want to tell you, please like and comment and subscribe to these videos if you want to journey with me on the Genesis read along i have attached below in the comments i have attached where you can read along with me in the descriptions and also i pin these comments i thank you so much you guys remain blessed and thankful from all these blessings for the lord the lord is looking out for us in our best interest these are the old testament reading is showing obedience all the way from noah to lot to abram so we want to keep these teachings in mind we want to follow these people and understand that here in this bible we can get our strength because god is showing us nothing but strength and love here at bible things we are going over a 52 week bible plan guys so if you're here at the end of this video i really do appreciate it um we're going to be reading this Bible. The Lord has put it on my spirit to get these messages out. So I love you guys. Peace and blessings until all for this new year. Be great, guys.